Hello, welcome back to JDC Diabetes Gems video, June 2010 edition. Here we are going to feature CGM, that is Continuous Glucose Monitoring. You may be wondering what this Continuous Glucose Monitoring exactly is. Diabetes patients are used to monitoring their sugars at home with a glucometer and that procedure is termed self-monitoring of blood glucose. However, in some countries patients are used to only going to the laboratory for a fasting glucose and a postprandial glucose. Unfortunately, a laboratory value is quite useless in managing diabetes. However, when you are making use of glucometer values, it becomes more beneficial both to the doctor and to the patient in getting good diabetes control. And if you are using continuous glucose monitoring, this is one step ahead or probably several steps ahead of using a glucometer. When you are using the glucometer, you may be measuring four times a day or eight times a day. Whereas, using a continuous glucose monitoring with the help of a real-time pump or the newly introduced iPro device, you are going to obtain up to 288 blood glucose per day. That is not simple. Obtaining 288 blood glucose readings per day throughout the day and throughout the night is not simple and that too without poking the skin. In an ordinary glucometer you may be missing the high values and low values in between the measured glucometer values but the CGM will help you obtain the blood glucose values continuously. <clears throat> Here you are watching a video on continuous glucose monitoring and continuous glucose monitoring can be compared to a video and the glucometer values can be compared to a picture and the question is what is the value of getting continuous glucose monitoring data and I may say that it is invaluable in intensive diabetes care. Apart from the real values obtained with the help of a continuous glucose monitoring data, the upward trend, the downward trend, the blood glucose pattern during the time the patient is sleeping, they are all immensely beneficial in fine-tuning the management protocol, in titrating the dose of insulin, in deciding the dose of which all drugs to be given, etc., etc., etc. And moreover, the blood glucose excursions are now proven to be responsible for the blood vessel damage, ultimately resulting in heart attacks and strokes in diabetes patients. And let us see a couple of CGMs now. You see different colors for these lines, each one denoting a different day like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday etc. And uh, here you can see blood glucose during the night time uh, going down and this is the downward trend and then there is an upward trend. And again <coughs> this is a, a subject us using a real time insulin pump device from Medtronic where you see almost all the values between 70 and 140 milligram both during the time he is sleeping and during the time he is active during this the day. Another subject where we have uh, done to uh, find out the you know, glucose excursions during the period of pre-diabetes on how he can intervene with his exercise and rest. Again there is a downward trend after 12 a.m. midnight and there is a visible hike in the blood glucose values a hyperglycemic excursion which is seen 
all throughout the three days when the CGM is being done. And uh, if you ask me how to do a CGM, it's very simple. The continuous glucose monitoring can be done with the help of simple equipments like iPro. Now we have the iPro 2. Or we can use the real-time insulin pumps for doing the CGM. Those who are using the real-time insulin pumps are used to the continuous glucose monitoring when the blood glucose values are seen appearing on the display of the pump itself. Here you have the iPro, which is an FDA approved device. And these equipments like the one here make use of only a small mini link transmitter and a tiny needle which is placed in the interstitial fluid. <coughs> it is virtually painless and the needle will actually measure the voltage which gets transmitted to the glucose values. And till date we had only equipments which require calibrations but now the newer equipments can probably make use of retrospective data and we can download the values, the trends to the computer and then analyze it. <coughs> the question now is an end to the glucometer era with the advent of continuous glucose monitoring. Let us wait and see. Until next month, goodbye from JDC Diabetes Gems Team in Trivandrum, India.